Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Maxwell Carlisle. I've got a new review for you today. I'm going to review the Ibanez RG3EX FM1. One of the very catchy names that Ibanez has come up with. So anyway, this is a guitar that I've used in a lot of my other videos. And people, uh, but I, have, I haven't done a review of it, so people are like, Hey dude, do a, re a review of the Ibanez or whatever. So anyway, here it is. Uh, first, let's check out the features, and then we'll listen to it. Okay, so this is a pretty basic, straightforward shred guitar. Uh, we've got a very, very flat fingerboard on it, and the very, you know, very, really thin Wizard 2 neck. It's a basswood body. It's got a flame maple top, kind of a thin flame there. We've got a maple neck, rosewood fretboard, 24 frets. It's a 25 and a half inch scale. And we've got the shark tooth inlays on here. Uh, let's see, we got the two Ibanez humbuckers. We've got a five-way switch, a uh, volume and a tone. It's got a nice white binding around the body. And uh, the big thing is there's no tremolo on it. It's a string through. And also, of course, we have the wonderful Ibanez all-access neck joint. Very nice. So yeah, like I said, this is a pretty good uh, standard non-tremolo shred guitar. And these are made in Indonesia. And these actually, uh, the mid-range Ibanez stuff used to be made in Korea. Some of it still is. And just in the past few years, they've started making one in Indonesia. And I've played these ones and the Korean ones. I personally can't really tell the difference. Um, they do a really good job with the fretwork. And, uh, you know, all around it's a pretty solid instrument. Okay, so let's take a listen to how it sounds. Okay, so here we are on the clean setting. And we're going to go with the bridge humbucker to start with. some of the coil splitting stuff going on here. In the center position, so we've got uh, the two coils, the two center coils here. <laughs> switch over to everybody's favorite, the Distortion Channel, and do a little shredding here. And uh, let's start with the bridge pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now let's try out the neck pickup. Okay, let's check out some of the coil splitting. bad for a strap sound if you want to go for the single coil sound. Okay, so one of my favorite things about this guitar, besides the neck, uh, is the harmonics. The harmonics, pinch harmonics and that kind of stuff really pop out, especially on the bridge, on the bridge pickup here. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Ibanez RG3EX FM1, made in Indonesia, and it's a great non-tremolo shred guitar. This is one of my favorite guitars uh, that I own, that I use for practicing. I love the neck, the Wizard 2 neck, it's really thin and very flat. 24 frets, great fret access, and it looks nice. What more do you want? Okay, so uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, but wait! I got one more little segment I'm going to add on to the end here. Okay, I've got an extra little segment that I'm going to start doing on my demo review videos. Um, I get a whole bunch of comments and everything on my videos, and I would like to start reading some of them. So today we have uh, a comment that was left on my Michael Bayo string damper video by Marad1. I don't think you need big muscles to play guitar, lol. I've seen scrawny looking kids do insane shit on guitar. That makes this guy look like a newbie. Even Michelangelo doesn't have big muscles and he is a shred master. Just practice every day like having oversized muscles don't mean anything. And plus, when you stop exercising, all those muscles will turn to fat. Okay. <clears throat> well, Marag1, thank you very much for the comment. I always appreciate to hear feedback from my viewers. And it is true, Michelangelo Bello is a shred master. That's uh, no denying that. Uh, one thing here, um, when you stop exercising, muscles do not turn to fat. They just shrink. That's what happens. Sometimes, if you're used to eating a whole lot of food, like a football player or something, you stop exercising, and you keep eating the same amount of food, then you're not doing as much activity to burn off the calories, then you'll get fat. But it's not the muscle turning to fat, it's just you becoming a fat ass. Okay, so just wanted to clear that up and uh, stay tuned. On my next video, I'm going to have uh, some more comments I'm going to read. So for now, keep watching and thanks for tuning in.